Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're back in Blender to restart the SnowRunner modding tutorial series. The reason I decided to restart it is because I had strayed way too far from the original intent I had for the series. Originally, I wanted to show just the basics of getting a truck into SnowRunner, but I got so involved with the projects that I was working on in those previous videos that I wound up showing several advanced techniques which were just unnecessary to getting a truck into the game. So rather than try and go back and salvage those, I decided it would be best to go straight from scratch and bring in an entirely new model and go right from the top. So without any further delay, we'll do just that. So. Upon opening Blender, you'll find this on your main screen. The only thing we need is the default cube. So you can come right here, click these two objects, the light and the camera, and then delete them both. The next thing you'll have to do is come over to where it says unit scale and set this to 0 0.01. And then while you're also over, over in this panel where it says length, set this from meters to centimeters. This is the scale the models have to be in for export to SnowRunner. Now the next thing you'll want to do is grab the default cube, lock it to the y-axis, and move it to roughly here. You can move it right off camera or you know left or right. It, it really doesn't matter. I just tend to move it to the left because that gives me some sense of direction and scale for when I bring the model in. Which, speaking of bringing the model in, let's do that right now. This will take a minute to load in, depending on how large or small your model is. As you can see, it's taking a second even on my PC. And now, as you just saw here, everything loaded in. But since you don't see the model, this is something that does happen fairly frequently depending on model source. The model is quite a bit too big. So the best way to fix this is to press S on your keyboard and scale the model down. And I usually put it to about this size, roughly speaking. And then I press 3 on my number pad to have it facing perfectly level straight onto the model. Now, as a quick note here, the model, as it sits right now on the screen, is facing the wrong direction for SnowRunner. So what we have to do is press R on the keyboard lock it to the z-axis, and then I do this through the number pad. I press 9-0 to tell Blender to rotate the model 90 degrees. Then press Enter, and the truck is now facing the correct direction. That being said, now we have to check and make sure it's correctly sized. So press the Measure tool here. Go from the widest points of the truck that you can and measure that way. As you can see, I'm using the outer lips of the front fenders for my reference point. And also, as you can see, the scale is 1.3 centimeters wide. Most full-size trucks, full-size pickup trucks in SnowRunner are two centimeters wide. So this now has to be scaled back up. So press S again. And use that as a stopping point for now. Again, go from the widest point to the widest point, and it still has to be scaled up. So, try about there. Good grief. Again. Try about there. And... It's a little over 
two centimeters, but this should do just fine. So we remove the measurement, go back to the selection box, and now we do the most critical step once all the scale is set and once the um, once the size is set. Press Control A. Actually, wait. Make sure you have only the model selected and not the cube. Press Control A and apply all transforms. So now the model will behave correctly in SnowRunner whenever we're ready to export. So with that being said, I'll stop this tutorial video here and work on the next one. So, see you all then.